close. So I suggest that if you know you need blocks, if you have anything uh, blocks similar to, uh, maybe you want to have them uh, next to you. If not, I'm just going to get started. We are going to start in a sitting position today, cross leg. So already here, if you need, you're going to place something underneath the hips. If not, whatever foot in front, placing the hands into the knees. Maybe closing your eyes, feeling the shoulders on top of the hips, the head on top of the shoulders, shoulder blades hugging towards the spine, and start connecting to the breath, connecting to the inhalation and exhalation. Imagine the inhalation to drive all the way up to the top of the head, and the exhalation to fall down towards the hips, the pelvic floor, the roof. Again, inhaling all the way up. Open up the ribs. Exhale, close the ribs. Feel the spine nice and tall. Exhale all the way down. Keep going like this a few more times. And at the same time, feel the shoulders lowering down, away from the ears, the face softening. And try to forget everything around you. Just bring awareness into this present moment. Keeping the eyes closed, so if you feel like you blink them open, start creating circles on top of the hips. Sufi circles. So you can move fast, you can move slow, whatever you feel like doing. I like to think that I try to detach the ribs from my hips. I spread the shoulder blades, open up each vertebra, warm up the hips with the breath. One direction and then turn into the others. Imagine the belly button initiating the movement. One more. Okay. Coming back to center, we're going to inhale both arms up, exhale right and down, left arm facing down and then lengthen to the side. Begin relation to come up, long spine, exhale, opposite side. Then again, inhale up, reach up towards the ceiling, exhale, go. Inhale up, and exhale, go. This time, now to come up, we're going to place the left hand into the right knee, right hand behind you, take a twist. Inhaling and exhaling, twist a little bit more. Inhale, grow into the spine and exhale, twist. We're going to keep the left hand where it is, we're going to reach the right arm up and then lengthen diagonally. Keep reaching the right hip down towards the mat. Now bring the right hand into the left knee, lift up the knees a little bit if you need, and then spread the shoulder blades around the spine. In that time, back to center, reaching both arms up. Exhale, right hand into the left knee, left hand behind you, then twist towards the back. Inhale, puffing the chest up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, through the core, twist a little bit more. Inhale, to open up. And exhale, to twist. Inhale, to come up, the left hand comes up, and then lengthen diagonally. Left hand into the right knee, lift up the knees if you need, round the spine, stomach towards the spine, spread the shoulder blades. You have to come back, you're going to reach both, or stretch both legs forward, maybe shake them up. Supporting the spine, the spine is nice and open, you're going to flex the feet, and then point them. Try to articulate the toes as much as you can, feeling the legs nice and strong, maybe spreading the toes as well. And exhale. Taking a couple of ankle circles, one direction, and then the other. Good. We're going to cross the opposite leg forward. Now start reaching the fingers forward, knee now here. Exhale, either just stay here or forward fold completely. Try to stay down with the hips towards the mat and keep lengthening the top of the head towards the front of the mat. 
breathing into the hips, into the spine. Walking both hands towards the right side, maybe reach the left hand away from you even more, and try to reach down with the left hip at the same time. Coming back to center, other side. So the right hand reaches forward, really stretching the right side body now. And then coming back to center, we're going to place the hands down, come up into our knees. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Start taking some hip circles, maybe coming back to eyes closed. Doing whatever you feel like going into one direction. And then the other. Moving with the breath, warming up, letting go. Good. And then slowly coming back into this all four position, spreading the fingers, placing the knees, press them at the waist, stomach to spine. Inhaling, arch the spine, if you tailbone up, shoulders away from the ears, engaging the back foot up. Exhale, squeeze their thighs, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhaling, opening up into a cow shape. Imagine all the vertebrae from you sinking in towards each other, open up, exhale, round the spine, squeeze the right thighs, engage the core. One more. Inhale to open up. Exhale to round. Now place the right foot on top of the left. So think about the, um, the bone of the foot when I place it on top of the left arch. And just sit back. Little self hip massage. At the same time, we're gonna reach the right here towards the right shoulder. You can either grab the head, or if you want to intensify the stretch, you round. You take the left hand behind the back, grab it, open up the left shoulder, and stay here. Try to find the right angle of the stretch. And then release, other side, I keep my, my grip, and then I stretch. Keep reaching the right shoulder now away from the right ear. And then slowly let go, when I let go of the feet, I'm going to come up into the knees. So try to bring the, squeeze the lower glutes slightly so the hips are nice and tall, stand up towards the spine, have the inner thighs towards each other. Now take the right shoulder towards the right ear, the chin reaches down, we're going to round the head down, shoulder to ear, and then come up. Same thing, left ear to the shoulder, chin down, round, ear, come up. One more. Ear, chin, round, ear, and up. Last one. Ear, chin, round, ear, and up. Placing the opposite foot into the other arch. Sitting back. Interlacing the fingers. Pounce the fingers towards out and then lift up. Now lift the shoulder towards the ears. Exhale down, without dropping the spine, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up and then reach towards the right side. Open up the left side body. Inhale to come up. Exhale, other side. Inhale up. Now chest forward, hands behind you, and then hug the ribs in. And then slowly release the hands forward, shake the feet a little bit. Now tap 10 toes under, fingertips down, and just roll into the feet forward and back if you like. And then release the knees down, keep the 10 toes tuck under, and come up. Tuck the arms, you're gonna inhale, reach the tailbone up, arch the spine, puff the chest up. Exhale, right arm underneath the left. And then round the spine, reach the elbows away from you. Inhale to open up, cut deep off the chest, engage the back, left arm under the right, round the spine, reach the elbows away, spread the shoulder blades. 
in at two arms, the spine past the chest, look up, slide the elbows down towards the hips, interlace the fingers behind the back, press the fingers down to open up the chest even more, open up the shoulders. Release the neck if you feel comfortable. Slowly chin to chest and come back up. Hands forward, release the hips. Left feet, the hands with the fingers towards the knees. Press the wrist down, engage the core. Inhale, open up into cow shape. Exhale, round the spine into cat, chin to chest. Inflate the back. Inhale to open up. And exhale to round. One more. Inhale to open up. And exhale to round. Good. Keep the hands forward one more time. We're going to inhale the right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right hand slides in. At the same time, I reach the left leg out. Either stay here, maybe the left arm comes up. Eventually grabbing the right inner thigh into a twist. Breathing into the spine, into the chest. Keep reaching the left shoulder up. Slowly coming back, left hand reaches down, right arm come up towards the ceiling, exhale, reach it down. Bend the left leg slightly and take some hip circles here. Stretch to go nice and long with the hips, massage into one direction and then the other. Good. From here, sink the hips down towards the right heel, stretch the left leg and reach the arms forward. Right hand comes into the right side of the knee and then lift the hips and chest up into halfway of the And then slowly release down. If you reach towards the left leg, one more time. Enough to come up into the fingertips, into the hands, maybe into a block. And exhale, slowly release down. Now hands forward in front of you, ground into the mat, lift the left leg up and stay here. Slowly, take it back behind you. Reach your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, elbows to knee around the spine. Inhale to open up. Exhale, elbow to knee around. One more. Inhale to open up. Exhale, elbow to knee, stay here for five. Four, squeeze it in. Three, two, and one. Release the knee, release the arm. Left arm comes up, inhale. Exhale, to the needle, coming in. Take the right leg out. Either just stay here, if you can, right arm up. Rub with the opposite inner thigh, reaching both shoulders up towards the ceiling. Breathe into the twist. Slowly, right hand comes down, left hand comes up, inhale. Exhale, release it down. Bend the right leg slightly. Keep circles. Nice and low. Think animal-ish into one direction. And then the other. Okay, coming back to center. Stretch to the right leg nice and wide. And then reach both hips down. Put the hips down towards the right heel. Stretch the arms forward. Left hand comes sideways. Now lift the hips and chest up into a wild thing. And slowly extend, release down. Maybe reaching both arms towards the right leg. And if you can do this again, inhale to open up. And exhale to release down. Both hands reaches down, come up into the knee. Now press them up the way, lift the right leg up. Take the right leg back, start to spine. Lift the left hand up. Inhale. Exhale, round the spine, elbow to knee. Inhale to open up. Exhale to round. Inhale to open up. Exhale to round. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Release the knees down, the arm down. Walk the hands forward, maybe grabbing the outer edge of the mat. Either just the forehead or chin and chest up into the mat. So have the elbows and armpits in, lift the tailbone up, 
Now they are the heart, the chest, into the mouth. Breathe into the spine. One more. Slowly slide the hands into the side of the chest and then bring the hips back into the heels. Move the hands forward. Try it, folks. Now engage your inner thighs, squeeze them in towards each other, round the spine forward into all four. Exhale, lift the chest and chin, arch the spine back into the heels. One more. Inhaling, waving forward into all four, a little past. Exhale, lift with the tail, arch the spine, chin comes back last. Inhale to wave in, inflate in the back, squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale to arch the spine and reach it down. Inhale to come back up, round in, exhale, release the hips down, wiggle a little bit from side to side. Exhale, melt into the tummy, fingertips down. Squeeze the inner thighs and nose, you have to press them up the way and come up. Exhale to melt and release. Engage the glutes, engage the core, press them at the weight, come up, head comes last. Exhale to melt. One last. Maybe you slide the hands a little bit closer to the hips. Coming up, keep pressing them at the weight, engaging the core, the glutes, reaching up. And exhale to release down. Good. From here, sliding the right arm up to the side, left arm is bent, and then Press the right shoulder down and take a little twist. Reach the left arm up. If you can, you can try to either reach towards the right hand or interlace the fingers. Keep pressing the right shoulder down from opening up the chest. Now let go of the right hand. Stand here with the legs, reach the left hand away from you into a twist. Coming back to center, opposite side. So press the left shoulder down, come up with the right leg, reaching right arm up. Either stay here, reaching towards or interlace the fingers. Press the fingers away from you, keep pressing the left shoulder down. Now let go of the fingers, reach the right hand away from you, stay there with the foot, with the leg. Slowly coming back into the mat. Placing both hands into the side of the chest, engage the core, engage the glutes. Lift the shoulder or the chest up, away from the mat. Lift the left leg up, the legs up, sorry, and reach both arms away from the mat. Staying here. Open up the chest, sliding the shoulders away from the ears. Pressing both hands down, we're gonna inhale, come up into an up dog. And exhale, press back into down releasing dog. Walk the dog a little bit from side to side. Do whatever you need to do. And then spread the fingers. Keep hugging the elbows and armpits in. Spread the toes. Keep lifting the tailbone up. Bending the knees if you need. Really elevate the shoulder towards the ears and lift the tailbone up. Inhaling both heels up. We're going to round the spine forward into high back. Exhale, bend the knees, lift the tail, chest and chin. Arch the spine back into down with the sin up. Inhaling, waving forward into high back. Exhale, wave back down with the sin up. Inhale, wave forward into high back. This time, allow the hips to come down into support of the Press the back away, lift the chest up, head up, foot up. Exhale, leaving with the hips coming back into down with the sin up. In an waving forward into high plank, this time both feet goes towards the right side, bend the knees, keep reaching the left hand down into the mat. Come up into side plank, you can either stay here, maybe you push the hips even higher, and try to grab the right elbow. If you want to release the left foot down, push the hips and chest up. If not, just stay there. Slowly releasing into high plank. Exhale, release the hips down into the support, feet up top. Lift the hips up, down, release it up. Inhale to wave forward. 
both heels towards the left, bend the knees, reach your right hands forward. And exhale, come up into side plank, lift the hips even higher as if you can grab the left elbow. Either just in here, reach the right foot down, hips and chest up. Slowly taking it back, high plank, down, releasing down, bring into it. Walking forward in there into the toes, so just normal walks. Release the heels down and then lengthen the spine halfway, come up into the fingertips, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, have the elbows forward fold. Allowing everything to drop down towards the mat, bending the knees if you need. So if you're up here somewhere, bend the knees, come into the thighs. The head is heavy. The shoulders are heavy. So you release the hands, you're going to grab the big toes with the first two fingers, and then lengthen the spine. Exhale, Padangustrasana, forward fold, elbows out to the side or towards the legs, whatever works the best. Keep the weight forward into the toes, the top of the head down towards the mat. Inhale to lengthen the spine, look up. Both fingers forward, walk the feet a little bit wider, and toes out to the side, exhale, sit the hips down into Malasana. Inhale to reach the hips up, exhale to sink them down. One more, hips up, and exhale, release. Now walk the hands forward and wiggle the hips a little bit from side to side. Attach the arms into the shins, lift the chest up. The hips are heavy, down towards the mat, the top of the head is reaching up towards the ceiling. Both knees are opening out to the side, making sure that the knees are in the same direction of the second toe. Reach the left shoulder down, with the right hand you're going to press the right knee away from me. Now, if you want to lift the right arm up towards the ceiling, if you want you can take a bite, if not just stay there. Inhale, coming back to center, right shoulder switches down, left hand into the left knee, pressing the left knee nice and open. Then reaching the left arm up, inhale, exhale, eventually taking a bind, you don't have to do that, these are all options. Coming back to center, hands forward, we're going to squeeze the lower glutes, open up the knees out to the side, coming up just a little bit. Exhale, release down. One more, squeeze the lower glutes, open up the knees, come up just a little bit, engage your legs. Exhale, down. Inhale to come up, stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, lift the hips up, score up the feet, maybe wiggle the legs. Bend the knees and very slowly start to roll up to standing, the vertebra after vertebra. All the way up. Now press the hands into the hips, open up the feet a little bit more, hip circles nice and wide into one direction. Loosening up any tension. And then the other. Good. Coming back with feet hip distance, we're going to reach both arms up towards the ceiling. Extend right hand down, left palm is down and then lengthen to the right side. In hand to come back, take the head with your stretch your neck. Now press the head into the hands and the hands into the head. And then slowly release. Other side, both arms up. Left hand down, right arm is up. Inhale, exhale as long as you can, reach towards the side. In hand to come back, take the head with you. Press the head into the hand and the hand into the neck. The head. And then slowly release, soft knees, take a couple of neck circles, one direction, and then the other. Good. Shake everything off, whatever you need. Now come in front of the mat, feet together, engage in the lower glutes so the hips are nice and long. The pelvic floor is lifting up, shoulder blades are half thin, 
hands are released into the side of the thighs. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold, hands down. Inhale, to lengthen the spine. Exhale, right leg reaches back into the lunge. From the back foot, start moving forward and back. Already engaging the right leg as much as you can, the right glute. Release the knee and the foot down, squeeze the thighs, lift the chest up, breathing space, exhale, back bend. In after the back, hands forward into the fingertips or blocks. Tuck those under, lift the hips up, your big toes, stay in here. Keep pressing the left foot down. Both hands press down into the mat, round the spine, so we can transfer the left foot straight back into the arm block. In a way forward into high plank, knees, chest and chin into the mat. From the tail, both in the that rolling the spine forward and lift up into cobra. Tuck those under, press yourself back, down with the sit dog. Hug the right knee into the chest, bring it forward, release the right foot down between the hands. From the back foot, so moving forward and back. Release the knee and the foot down, squeeze the thighs, lift the chest up, breathe in space, exhale, back bend. Inhale to the back, fingertips down or blocks, tuck those under, lift the hips up. Modify your wrinkles, keep pressing the right foot down. Both hands reaches down, round the spine, create space for the right leg to go back into the releasing up. In and way pull into high back. Exhale, to chaturanga this time. In and open up into up top. Exhale, press back, down releasing up. Right leg comes up, one leg down releasing up. Open up the hips and bend the knees. Lift the knee up. Now stretch the legs, pull up the hips one more time. Right knee to chest. One forward, release the right foot down. From here, fingertips of blocks, we're going to tuck the knee down towards the mat. And then stretch the back leg. Inhale down, squeeze the glute. Exhale up. Inhale down, and exhale up. Inhale down, foot comes down, squeeze the thighs, and trace the fingers into the knee, press the knee away. Keep pressing the left foot down into the mat. If you can, Press so much that the elbows will straighten. Slowly. In have to come back. Left hand reaches down. Right foot opens up. Left foot opens up. Bring the outer edge. Sink the hips down. Maybe wiggle a little bit from the other side here. Right arm is out. In have to lift the hips up. Press the feet down. Exhale to release. In and up. Exhale, release. In and up. We're going to come back to center. We're going to turn all the way into the opposite side, Skandasana. Keep the hips as low as you can. Move to the opposite side. And then move it back. Move back to center. Lift the hips up. Pyramid pose. Stay in here. This time, if you can, reach both arms out or back. Hands up towards the mat, round the spine, slide the right leg straight back into the right facing up. In and wave forward into high plank, knees, chest and chin. From the tailbone, start rolling the spine into cobra. Tuck toes under, press back, down right facing up. Left leg comes up, one leg right facing up, open up the hips and bend the knee, press the mat away, lift the knee up. Now stretch the leg, square off the hips, left knee to chest, left knee comes forward, left foot releases down. Lunge. We're going to tap the knee down, try to keep the chest nice and open, and exhale, stretch the leg. Down, and up, and down, and up. Release the knee and the foot down, squeeze it in the thighs and release the fingers, start pressing the front foot away from you. Lift the chest up, create the space. Eventually, you're gonna stretch the elbow all the way. Slowly, in to the back. Right hand down, left foot out to the side, right foot into the outer edge. Raise the hips down, maybe wiggle a little bit from side to side here. Left arm is out, we're gonna inhale the hips up, reaching the arm forward. Exhale to release. 
Inhala, up. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Forward and to the opposite side. Skadasana. Using the mat or not, I'm going to take it back. Opposite side. And then take it back where we came from. Lunge. Lift the hips up. Pyramid pose. Press the left foot down. Lift the tailbone up. If you can, reach both arms out and back. Hands down, round the spine, create space for the left foot to come back into the downward facing dog. Move the knees a little bit from side to side. Inhale, way forward into high back. Exhale through Chaturanga. Inhale, up top. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here. Breathe into the hands, into the feet, into the spine. Keep lifting the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Look at the hands, bend the knees, walk or jump forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, to come up, look up at the thumbs. And exhale, release the hands down. Open up the feet if this is the back. Bend the knees, hands forward. Cut the arms, inhale, arch the spine, stay here. Keep lifting the tailbone up, the head back towards the feet. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Press the hands up, open up the chest. Thumb into thighs, reaching the hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe into the shoulders, into the hamstrings. Slowly release both hands down in front of you. Inhale, left to the spine. Exhale, move or jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, open up into up top. Exhale, press back, down, facing dog. Right leg comes up, one leg down, facing dog. Open up the hips and bend the knee. Press them at the way. Inhale, knee to knee, figure eight shape. Exhale, open the knee out to the side. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open up. One more. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open up. Now, stretch the right leg. Take the right leg sideways. Round the spine, create space for the right foot to land in between the hands, and then come up. So not super wide, but place the hands with the fingers towards the shoulders into the hips. Bend the knees lightly, now press the hips forward and reach with the shoulders away from the hips. Stretch the legs, and then come down with the spine 90 degrees. Inhale to come up, maybe making the position a little bit wider. Press the hips forward, the shoulders away. Inhale to lengthen, exhale coming down a little bit deeper. Release the hands down, release the left heel down, coming up into warrior one. Interlace the fingers behind the back one more time, press the hands down, exhale humble warrior two shoulders on the inside. Now either stay here if you want, release the left hand down, go into the outer edge of the left foot, grab the right big toe and lift up into Vashistasana. If you want, releasing the right foot. Now reach the right leg back and wherever you are, we're going to spiral up and meet up into Warrior Two. We're going to reverse and then stretch the front leg. Big inhalation to come up, exhale to Konasana. Hands into the ankle, left arm comes up. Now, slide the left hand behind the back. Maybe grab with the right and left thigh. Imagine that you're lying into the arm with the back. Left arm comes up, inhale. Exhale, take the left hand down and start walking the hands and feet towards the side. Now move so you see me. Heels out, toes in, inner length of the spine. Exhale, now it's going to come down. Inner to go through the spine. Exhale, now it's going to come down. One more. Rolling through the spine. And exhaling in whatever position you'd like. 
keep pressing the outer edge of the feet down, squeeze the inner thighs in. Wherever you are now, lengthen the spine halfway and then bring both your in. Bend the knees, come up, got this. Press the hands into the knees, inhale, exhale, press the knees open and take a twist. In and to come up. Exhale, twist. In and up. Exhale, twist. In and up. And exhale, twist. Okay. Come back to center, both hands down. Maybe walk the hips a little bit from side to side. And then lift the hips up, turn the feet in. Walk the hands forward. Ashwinathik Prashwakanasana, sorry. So the left heel is down, right hand into the inner thighs, side angle. If you want, slide the right shoulder down, take a bind. Press the tendon forward to open up the chest, eventually stretch the front leg. Wherever you are, bend the knee, walk both hands forward, lift the left heel up. Walk the right foot out to the side slightly. Release any other foot down if it is too much. You can either stay here if you want. You can come down into the elbow. If this is still easy, you can start walking the shoulder underneath the knee and maybe start looking back. Eventually the head will come down in between. Wherever you are, open up the left foot out to the side, put the right hand into the right knee, wiggle a little bit from side to side. And then start reaching back behind you, tuck the toes under, actively squeeze the heel towards the hips, eventually pointing the foot into the hands, inhale. You can use a rope if you want to lay a belt. Exhale, bring the heel towards the hips. Keep reaching forward. With the left hip extension in, squeeze in the left glute. Now let go of the foot and try to keep it there. And then slowly release it down. Walk the left hand a little bit closer in, come up into the left knee, push your right leg behind you and lift up. Modify side plank. Now bend the right leg, press the foot into the hands, bring the chest and hips forward. Now let go of the foot, take the leg out to the side, now use the core and see if you can reach your right foot forward without the need of the hands. Heel down, run your stretch. So rearrange the position if you need, in length of the spine, look up. Exhale, long spine to come down. Inhale to roll up through the spine. Exhale to release. One more. Inhale to roll up. And exhale to release. Keep pressing the heel down, the tailbone up. Slowly coming up. Now walk both hands into the outside of the leg. Walk both hands towards the opposite side. I'm going to come towards you. And then bring the heel with the right leg with you. Press the hands down, so you can either stay in here, walking the hips forward and back, or side to side. If you can, start reaching the right foot away from you, into a half frog split. Breathing into the hips, so usually exactly where the hips don't want to stay, that's where you should stay, which is the place between the knee and the foot. Try to breathe into the inner thighs, imagine it to let go and melt with the breath. Slowly coming back into the knee and then walk forward with the hips and the foot. Now start walking the foot further away from the knee. You can add your blocks here to the side. You can come into a longer lunge. Try to keep the chest as open and straight on top of the hips as you can. If this is still easy, you can try to slide down towards a full split. 
keep hugging the inner thighs towards each other. Maybe lifting the hips up and down a few times, activating the legs. And then eventually melting towards the right leg or taking a twist, whatever works for you, wherever you are. Good, the hands come down, the foot comes back, tuck toes under, lift the hips up. Walk both hands forward round the spine, slide the right leg straight up into one leg that is in up. Now round the spine, knee to chest, release the right foot down. We're going to step on it and lift the left leg up into standing split. If you can, grab the right ankle and reach the forehead towards the shin. Slowly, hands come down, chest up, and very gently sucking the tummy towards the spine, release the left leg, left foot down. Ground the spine and start coming up. Weight into the left leg, reach your right knee up, hands in namaste in front of the chest, right foot out to the side, right knee back, right knee in. Knee forward, knee side, whoops, knee back, knee in. One last, eventually stretching the leg this time, up and side, and back now reach both hands towards the foot behind you. Bend the front knee, reach your right foot down, open up the chest, if you can come up into the toes, exhale hands down, through Chaturanga, in a lock tuck, and exhale, down with the sit up, walk down a little bit from side to side, spread the fingers, tap the elbows and ankles towards each other. Left leg comes up, one leg or kissing up, open up the hips and bend the knee, press them out the way. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open the knee up to the side. Inhale, knee to knee. Exhale, open up. One more. Inhale, knee to knee. And exhale, open up. Now stretch back, we're gonna walk the left foot out to the side, come up into the right toes. Create enough space for the left foot to land in between the hands. Bend the knee and come up. Hands with the finger towards the shoulders. Press into the hips. Have the inner thighs in. Press the hips forward and reach with the shoulders away from the hips. Stretching both legs. Exhale, coming forward. One more. Coming up, maybe making the position a little bit longer. Pressing the hips forward, shoulders away. Stretching the legs, lifting with the chest, exhale, coming down. All the way, release the hands down, release the right heel down, 45 degrees, square the inner thighs, the hips and come up. Interlace the opposite finger on top, press the hands down to open up the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. So either staying here, if you can, release the right hand down, move into the outer edge of the right foot, grab the left big toes and lift up into Vashistasana side plank. Maybe without the hand. And then very slowly release the left foot down, bend the front leg and then come up into warrior two. Take it back. Stretching the front leg. Big inhalation to come up. Exhale, we're gonna ask our hands into the ankle, ground the feet and lift up. Slide the right arm behind the back. Grab the inner thigh. Imagine that you're lying into the arm to open up the chest even more. Right arm comes up, inhale. Exhale, take it down, walk hands and feet towards the start. Heels up, toes in, inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale right away, releasing in whatever position you'd like. Keep thinking about lifting the tailbone up, the top of the head down, engaging the quad, weight forward into the toes.
Inhale to lengthen the spine. Look up. This time, both feet out to the side. We're going to bend the right knee and sit back into Skandasana. Now, gently can release both hips down into the mat. Try to grab the ankle with the left hand and then reach sideways. Keep opening up the shoulders. Inhale to come up. That's if you can use the strength of the legs to lift yourself up. Take it towards the opposite side. Release the hips down. I hope this is going well. We're at the opposite angle and then reach sideways. I like to press the foot into the hands and rotate the shoulders as much as I can. Inhale to come up one more time using the hips to come back. Meeting into the center, hands down, lift the hips up. Now open up the left foot out, the right foot is in, hands on the inside, pressing into the shoulder, the shoulder into the knee and open up. If you want, shoulder comes even deeper down, taking a bind, bring the tailbone under to open up the chest. If you want, stretch in the front leg. Slowly bending, releasing, and squaring off. Walk the knee out to the foot, out to the side, either staying here, maybe releasing down. If you can, into the elbows. Or maybe start walking the shoulder underneath the knee and start looking back. And then come up into the right hand, open up the left foot up to the side, left hand into the left knee, reach the left knee away from you. Lift the left hand back, either just in here or grabbing a strap if you need. Hug the heel towards the hips and point the foot into the hand, point it away from you. And exhale, bring the heel towards the hips. Breathing into it, keep reaching the hips forward. Slowly let go and keep it there. And gently releasing the left foot down. Slide the right hand a little bit closer in. Come up into the right knee. Move into modified side plank. Lift the left leg up. Bend the knee. Press the foot into the hand. Open up the chest. Slowly let go of the left. Now take the left leg out to the side. And now moving forward, release the left foot down, the heel down. You have to lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, the long spine to come down. You have to roll up through the spine. Exhale, long spine to come down. One more, roll up through the spine. And exhale, release. Keep pressing the heel down, the tailbone away from you, the spine as long as you can. Coming up into the hands, walk both hands into the outside of the leg. Keep pressing the heel down. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, walk both hands towards the opposite side, bringing the right foot with you. So either just in here, now move in and out of it, bending the left leg, or slide all the way down towards the half. Frog split variation. Breathe into it, allowing the inner thighs to let go, release the hips to open up. Okay, slowly coming up, walking back towards the front of the mat. Left foot reaches forward, I'm into a longer line variation. We're taking the toes under if that makes you more stable. Hug the inner thighs in, lift the pelvic floor up. Either just stay here or sliding down towards a full split. Keep hugging the inner thighs in, maybe lifting the hips up and down a few times to activate the legs, the glutes. And then whenever you feel it's enough, to melt in whatever version of a split you'd like. 
Bend the knees if you need, grab the big toes with the first two fingers or the outside of the feet in order to lengthen the spine. And exhale, forward fold. Breathing into the back. Keep reaching the top of the head towards the feet. Slowly rolling up into a sitting position. So you can either just press the right foot into the left inner thigh, Janashisasana. If you have the half lotus practice, you can press the foot into the left leg, reaching the right knee down and hug it in. And exhale forward fold. So if this is not for you and it hurts the knee in any ways, press the right foot down again. Slowly, inhale to come up and exhale release. Right foot in line with the right hip, either just reaching the right hand towards the left foot, stay here. If you can, hug in the right leg, taking a bind. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, Manichasana up. Inhale to come up and release. Now walk the right foot into the outside of the leg. Hack the knee, this is option number one. If you can, bend the left leg in, stay here, or working the elbows into the outside, either taking a bind or grabbing the foot in front of you. You have to come back, exhale, twist a little bit towards the opposite side. Keep this connection, knit foot or create one, pressing the left foot down, right foot into the left knee. With the hands, help the chest to come forward towards the calf. Now release the left foot down. Coming to our double pigeon or a little box. Foot to knee, knee to foot. If this is in a way, you can either place a block underneath the hips or releasing both feet down. If this is okay, keep the feet flat to protect the knees. Walk the fingers forward, inhale, and exhale, forward fold. Try to keep the legs active by squeezing the back of the knees in towards each other. Pressing the knees down. Now walk both hands towards the right side. If you have the flexibility, you can try to press the left elbow into the outside of the right leg. And then reach back towards the other side. So either just switch in towards the left side or right elbow comes on the outside of the left leg this time. Slowly coming back to center and reaching up. Now lift the right leg up, pressing the foot into the elbow, give it a hug. I like to stretch the left leg out, you don't have to do it, just find your most comfortable way. And just start hugging the knee like a little baby. Then, you place both hands into the foot and start taking the knee behind you. Rock around the spine slightly, peeling the stomach towards the spine. Taking the foot up a little bit towards the head. Now let go of the foot with the right hand. I'm going to bring the calf in with the fingers and walk the knee on top of the shoulder as much as I can. Press the right hand down, the left hand is still on the left foot. Press down into the mouth and try to stretch your right leg into the arm, into the shoulder and look towards the left side. Compass. Slowly release down. If you have this connection, press both hands down so you can lift up. Maybe bending the left leg and reaching the right leg back. If this didn't work, just create this kind of shape. So left leg forward, right leg back. From here, square the hips. You're going to lift the hips up. 
fingertips down, lift the hips up and down with the strength of the legs, the pelvic floor, the glutes. And then with your right arm forward, bend the left leg, heel towards the hip. Eventually sliding the foot towards or into the elbow, reaching up. Keep working the back. If you can, this is still easy. Hand into the foot, reach your left arm forward, square up. Create space in the beginning, the ribcage away from the hips. Binding the foot with both arms, inhale, exhale, get that. And then wherever you are, hands down, and come back into that releasing dog. Breathe into it. And then look at the hands, bend the knees, walk or jump forward. Stretch both legs forward, flex the feet, inhale. And exhale, start rolling down. Vertebra after vertebra, all the way down. When you're halfway, bend the knees, stand here. Inhale to lift up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Three more. Up, down, two, and down. And one, and down. Stay here for five. Strong legs, stomach to spine. Four, three, two, and one, releasing everything down. Bend the knees into the chest, roll a bit from side to side. Place both heels towards the hips, squeeze the inner thighs, lift the hips up, move the shoulders underneath you, interlace the fingers, press them down. If you're already ready for it, place both hands into the side of the ears, squeeze the elbows in, and lift yourself up into the hands into full bridge. Press the hands down, the feet down, lift the hips up. And slowly exhale, release everything down into the mat. Half the knees into the chest. We're going to repeat this one more time. So either just half bridge or full wheel, depending on what you feel like, what your level is. Inhale, preparing, lifting up. Maybe stretching the legs, maybe moving into alien shape if you're known to the posture. And then slowly exhale, release everything down. Hug the knees into the chest, roll a bit from side to side. Release the left leg down, keep the right knee up, inhale. And exhale, take a twist. Look back towards the right arm. Inhale and exhale in through the spine. Into the chest, into the hips. Slowing down the breath. Releasing the face. Inhale, coming back to center and twist into the opposite direction. The belly button draws in towards the spine for every exhalation, massaging the organs, tummy, and allowing you to bend you deeper into the position. You know, to come back to center, stretch both legs up, and flex the feet, bend the knees, grab the outside of the feet, happy baby. We go a little bit from side to side. Keep reaching the tailbone down towards the mat, the top of the head into the opposite direction. At the same time, reach both knees into the side of the ribs. Feet together, interlace the fingers, reach the knees away from you into a little butterfly. And then release the feet down, 
can you just stay here with the legs into expansion and supta padakonasana or stretch all the way out into push the basana right away and take a moment here focusing on the body focusing on holding an intention in the hips in the legs and the feet If the hands are tense, the arms are tense, the chest. Feel the face completely relaxed. The eyes, the nose, the mouth, the forehead and temples melting to the side of the face. body completely heavy and relaxed, sinking into the mat. Imagine the breath to flow freely into the body without any blockage, any stagnation. And imagine that by opening up the hips as much as we did, the chest, the back, every little bit of tension or stress or fear just melts away from your body, is now gone. We're not focusing on the breath anymore. Although if you feel that your mind starts wandering, maybe you want to focus on the inhalation and the exhalation. Keeping your mind into this very present moment for a few more minutes. Allowing the healing effect of the practice to take action allowing the body and the mind to digest whatever has happened in class just now. And then slowly start to take a few deeper inhalation and exhalations into the nose, into the throat. And whenever you're ready, stretch the arms about the head, the legs not going away from you. Bend the knees into the chest, roll a bit from side to side. And then reach both knees out towards the right side. And then keeping the eyes closed, the neck to come up last, lift this attack in the sitting position. Feeling one more time, the shoulders on top of the hips, the head on top of the shoulders, the spine as long as you can and as straight as you can. Coming back into the breath. The face completely soft, the eyes soft. And then slowly placing the hands in front of the chest, looking up your eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. And I hope I see you soon again.